Hello and welcome to Long's Toys. Today I have another Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle review for you. These are two more of the Half Shell Heroes. We have Leo with glider wings and Raph with mini bike. I think they both look pretty excellent. These are from the same line as the Mike and Donnie I already reviewed, as you can see them here on the back of the box. Here's the back of this one. Now it should be noted that here uh, it shows the Psy for Raphael are, they have nothing in between them. And then you can see here that they kind of have this weird webbing. I'll get into that more later. But let's go ahead and get these guys out of the packaging and take a look. Alright, so here we have the two turtles out of their packaging. Uh, these are the little vehicles that they come with. I'm going to put Raph off to the side for now. Just start with Leo. Uh, I really like the shade of green that he is. I like how they choose a shade of green for the turtle that really complements the color of their headband. I think that's nice. Uh, the paint and the detail on him I think is very nice. My only complaint is the handle hilt of his katanas are just green like the rest of them. I would have preferred they painted them brown or some other color, but not a deal breaker. Uh, for articulation, his head does swivel from side to side. Mine's a little tight, but it does swivel. Uh, the shoulders have a hinge up and down, and also 360 around. It, the sword kind of hits his foot, but you can get around it. Uh, and then the feet do bend like 90 degrees, just like that. And he's got two holes in the bottom of his feet. So I think he looks really great. I like his little smile. I think he's really cool. And like I said, really nice detailing, I think. Uh, the little vehicle that he comes with is this kind of glider. Uh, it has a button on the back over here. I don't know what it is. The light reflecting off the glider it does not care for it. So let me see what I can do. Um, the button here when you flap, you press this button and it kind of very loosely flaps. I guess if you push it all the way, there it goes. If you push it all the way down or kind of this wheel, you rotate it back. You don't really push it down, you rotate the wheel back. It's kind of a lame flapping gimmick. But uh, it has this clip here, which you just go ahead and clip it there on his waist. And then you can push this part down. And that clips on top of him like that. It makes him very back heavy. But I think it does look very good. Let me zoom in a little bit here for you. I think it looks good on his back. Let me. Like I said, it's difficult to get him to stand, uh, but I really do think it looks cool. And there's decent detailing on the little vehicle. And it's really like he's snug in there. He's not going to fall out, especially with the piece that goes in over top. So, I think it's awesome. I'm going to go ahead and move on to Raph. Alright, so here we have Raphael. Uh, he's kind of one of my favorite turtles. I love the dark green coloring that he has. And it goes great with his red bandana. And if you see here on the back, he's got nice detailing. All the paint's done very nice. I love his expression. The only problem is this kind of like plastic webbing in between the tongs of his size. I guess they're tongs. I don't know, like a fork. I'm not really sure. I hate it. I, it's, it's such a shame because on the packaging, as I showed you earlier, it does not show this weird plastic webbing. And I appreciate that they didn't just paint this whole piece silver. At least the webbing is a different color from the Psy so you, to try to retract from it. But it's just such a shame. I, maybe they figured it's a stability issue, or they thought kids were going to poke themselves. I'm not sure. But it really just takes away from me. I've considered thinking about maybe trying to exact a knife, cut it out, and then sandpaper the pieces down. But then I'm afraid I'd really just ruin it. But it's a shame because, like I said, Raphael is really one of my favorites. And otherwise, I love the little figure. I think he's perfect. The paint everywhere else, the detailing is beautiful. Whoop, falling over. I love his expression. 
I love his mask, his eyes, the color of him. Everything is perfect except this side. The little vehicle he comes with is just kind of a little bike. Uh, the paint's decent on it. Really, I guess the only paint app is the black here for the seat. Everything else is different pieces of plastic. Now, this gimmick, and I use gimmick loosely, uh, he's got these kind of little saw blades or something underneath here, and if you push these together, they're supposed to come out. But they really don't come out that much. I kind of wish they would come out at like a 90 degree angle so I guess like if he was driving he could trip somebody but yeah it's kind of a lame gimmick um and just to sit him I mean he sits on the bike decent enough so it works for that purpose and it does roll very well but yeah the the gimmick is kind of lame but it's not a big deal like I said the the figures are the main draw to me the little vehicles are just little afterthoughts so anything is better than nothing I guess but I really, really love the Raphael figure, with the exception of the weird webbed size. Overall, I have to say that I really like both of these. I like them just as much as I like the Donnie and Michelangelo ones. Um, I'm definitely going to be looking for more of these. There are other two-packs coming out. Uh, I did manage to find a Leatherhead and Krang two-pack, and a... Casey Jones and Metalhead 2-pack, I think, as well. So, I'll be getting to them soon. Uh, they look pretty cool. Same kind of packaging where they're exposed out of the packaging, so you can kind of take a look at them. Um, but yeah, these are definitely really cool. I recommend both of these. Like I said, the only complaint I really have about any of them is the weird website. I can learn to live with it. I just wish it wasn't that way. Um, but like I said, these things retail, I would say these things retail for about $6.99 a piece, depending on where you find them. They're pretty prevalent now. They're at Target, they're at Walmart, uh, even Toys R Us I've seen them. So they're pretty much out now. I definitely recommend them. I think they're a lot of fun, and it's great that they're relatively inexpensive. But please tell me what you guys think in the comments. Please like and share this video. Please make sure you're subscribed. There'll be links in the description for my Facebook and Twitter. Follow me on there as well. I hope you've enjoyed this review of Leonardo and uh, Raphael from the Half Shell Heroes line, and thanks for watching.